Hi guys, Maurice Chevalier here again with the Antelope Discrete 8 and Edge Mic. I just wanted to create a short how-to and walkthrough for the Edge Mic modeling plugin, which has just been released. So let's get to it. On the preamp section, I have the Edge Mic connected to preamp inputs one and two, and I am speaking through it. It is not yet emulating any of the mic. As you know, it uses two preamps to mimic the dual capsules of many popular modern and vintage mics. The modeling software, which is running on the Discrete 8 hardware, then outputs a mono result, which can be recorded directly into your DAW. But before it can do that, it needs both the preamp one, which is the front mic, and the preamp two, which is the rear capsule, and it combines them in the processing software, which is running on the Discrete 8 itself. So if we look below, you'll see that I have selected the drive preamps without models. Preamp one is the capsule I'm facing. Preamp two is the capsule that is facing away from me. Uh, if you need more information on the Discrete 8, I have another video available. Check that one out. At this point, I could record dry just by recording inputs one and input two into my DAW. And you'll notice I have it set twice. You'll see why in a bit. These two inputs, three and four, in my DAW will, will actually represent my dry signals. All right, I'm going to select EMU mic channel one. Won't need uh, channel two. By the way, I have a gate, an equalizer, and a compressor, the impressor, in fact on my voice. I'm not in my booth. I'm in my control room, but there's a dog right outside making quite a bit of noise. So gear section is here. And this is where we begin the process of selecting a microphone. So I'm now going to be modeling through this edge mic. So if I switch it here, you'll see the Verge emulation software jump up and pop in the view. And now the edge software. And I can quickly show you that I can switch between the uh, bi-directional and omni and artoid. A little hard to select the basic setting. Um, and then I can uh, I can swap the channel. So now you're here, there's the mic and the front. And then I can quickly run through each of the microphones, the Sony, I'm sorry, the Tokyo 800T, <laughs> the Berlin 47, distinctly different, the Berlin 67, dark and beautiful, the well-known rich and resonant Berlin 87. And back to the edge mic, I'm actually gonna leave it on Tokyo. From here on out, I'm going to jump to the uh, plugin in my DAW of choice. All right, so let's get to that. So now you're hearing me on your left ear. Why? Because you're actually listening to the edge dry, waiting for us to implement the plugin. As soon as I do, you hear the mono version of my voice, the software output of a mono signal. And of course, everything's still here. The different models of the mics are here. You can hear the changes in the antelope edge itself. The patterns are still active. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this short run through. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.